This ranking is based on the play score, a standard rating that averages gamer reviews and critic reviews. Opening at number 25 is DC Universe Online. Create your own hero or villain in this MMO game that pits you against the DC Universe's greatest icons. Customize your movement, weapon, powers, and even your personality. It's an opportunity to put your ideal self into the shoes of the most powerful beings. Move forward in your quest for peace or all-out war by going on missions and increasing your levels. Eventually, you will be welcomed into your chosen unions. Overtake governments and destroy planets with a society or stop both of those from happening with the Justice League. The ultimate hero experience is right at your fingertips. It has a play score of 7.37. Number 24 is Wakfu. Part of the Flash-based classic Dofus, this game is set 1,000 years after. Experience the beauty of tactical RPGs in this free-to-play game. Stop Ogris and climb to the top of the Mount Zinnit to stop this dude from tearing things apart. The game's turn-based tactical combat makes a return and the use of environmental mechanics can aid your adventure to rebuild the world that was once lost from the Cataclysm. Pick between their 15 unique classes and enjoy the simple MMO world and Kama games created. It has a play score of 7.47. Number 23 is Heroes of New Earth. A MOBA game with similar features like Valve's Dota 2 and Riot's League of Legends, players are separated into two teams, the Legion and the Hellborn. These teams will scour jungles and move between lanes just to take down their respective central structures. It's get good or go home. Just recently, S2 Games Creation didn't really step up their game lately. Sure, it's a free-to-play game, but the player base seems to have drastically decreased in the past few months. What happened? It has a play score of 7.51. Number 22 is Card Hunter. If you want to experience a game that's similar to Dungeons & Dragons, then you're just one click away from playing this collectible card game that takes you and your friends into a magical fantasy world. It's a mixture of tactical combat, role-playing, deck-building, and tabletop fun. Be guided with Gary as you embark on an epic quest in solo or with friends. Amass that sharpened blade and fight the baddest of monsters as long as you play your cards right. It has a play score of 7.52. Number 21 is Loadout. This third-person multiplayer shooter lets you bask in the blood of your blown-up enemies. The game's numerous modes and fun weapon customization make it so enjoyable with friends. This game is also available on the PlayStation 4. Take on the game's various game modes such as Death Snatch, Extraction, Blitz, Annihilation, and more. Critics have praised the game's wide depth of gun customizations, but criticized its unbalanced matchmaking. It's free, so beggars can't be choosers, right? And has a play score of 7.53. Number 20 is Terra. This game is unlike most MMOs. Terra has been a staple of open world wonder in the genre since its inception. It's known for its wide array of customization, beautiful visuals, and a selection of unique heroes from the suave to the lolly? But its most gripping aspect is the combat. It's widely stated from the developers that mashing buttons is not necessary. Instead, you create a chain of powerful attacks to rip your enemies to shreds. That's Terra, and it has a play score of 7.55. Number 19 is World of Warships. You've had tanks, you've had warplanes, now it's time for the naval big boys to take the oceanic stage. Navigate the high seas with your team of explorers and battle it out with the destroyers, cruisers, and battleships. It's a high-stakes all-out war complete with history's iconic vessels from around the globe. Plus, with incredible and realistic visuals, it's a satisfyingly explosive experience for your inner warmonger. So go avenge the Titanic and torpedo the Yamato. It has a play score of 7.58. Number 18 is Street Fighter X Mega Man. Originally a fan-made tribute, Capcom released this crossover to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the two franchises. Slide and charge around in classic Mega Man fashion and defeat Street Fighter bosses in their specially decorated landscapes. Along with its pixel aesthetics, it also combines the mechanics of both games. Fill up the Street Fighter Super Meter and they'll launch a powerful attack on you. Beat their stage and you'll receive a cool weapon based off their signature moves. It's a creative fan-made love letter for Capcom fans and it's a must-try with a play score of 7.61. Number 17 is Vindictus. Step inside a dark and desolate place where darkness has consumed every flicker of hope. Be the last line of defense or team up with your friends to scale demented dungeons filled with gigantic monsters. Unleash brutal chain combos in its fast-paced MMORPG-style combat and topple enigmatic creatures blocking your way. Choose from a variety of unique classes that suit your playstyle. Survive in dark and twisted dungeons and witness tough challenges that rips your soul apart. It has a play score of 7.63. Number 16 is Age of Conan, Unchained. Explore the land of Robert E. Howard's imaginings in an ancient Hyboria brought to life. 
In this fantasy MMORPG, choose among its many classes that range from sword-wielding warriors to arcane masters. The game's innovative real combat system allows you to direct melee attacks during a battle for a more realistic fighting experience. Use your harmony of slashes against perilous foes or to prove your might against worthy challengers in its PvP mode. It's a gritty swords and sorcery tale, and it's time for you to fulfill your role. It has a play score of 7.64. Number 15 is War Thunder. A perfect game when you're in it for the adrenaline pumping action, insane amount of explosions, and the roaring sound of clanking metal. War Thunder takes our childhood fantasies of controlling metallic monsters such as tanks, warplanes, warships, and more. Select from its over 800 meticulously designed vehicles and take over the land, seas, and the skies in its intense PvP and PvE action. Its seamless battles and a convenient cross-platform feature makes the game even bigger. It has a play score of 7.66. Number 14 is Planetside 2. Join an army of elite soldiers in an endless planetary battle. It's an MMO first-person shooter done right, with massive area and large-scale battles. Unlike the previous game, the sequel is bigger, faster, and stronger, holding thousands of players in an enormous open field of all-out war. Choose a faction and fight alongside hundreds of allies in the march to victory. If you haven't heard me, it's huge. So huge, in fact, that they've won a Guinness World Record for it. Plus, you get to shoot lots of other people. So what more can you ask? It has a play score of 7.71. Number 13 is League of Legends. Riot Games scores an entry to the list with a game that's been recently hailed as the most played video game in the world. Inspired by the Warcraft 3 mod, take your place among 5 champions and conquer the map. Destroy their towers, storm the bases, and claim victory by taking the Nexus. Other than the standard Summoner's Rift, the game boasts two more game modes with their own unique playstyles. With its fun gameplay and variety of champions, it's no wonder that millions play it every single day. It has a play score of 7.73. Number 12 is Hearthstone, Heroes of Warcraft. Gather by the hearth and dive deeper into the Warcraft universe in a deep and strategic card-based gameplay. Meet your favorite Warcraft heroes such as Thrall, Jaina, Garrosh, and more in a turn-based card battle where each game is not always the same. Deceive, outplay, and overcome players from around the world by pulling out the best cards on your deck. It's like magic, but with Warcraft. Blizzard continues to pour out support in this game, including new cards, expansions, and more. Just recently, they released a new update called Journey of Ungoro. It has a play score of 7.77. Number 11 is Star Wars The Old Republic. Years before the familiar Star Wars saga, light and dark have been in a struggle for domination. In this primordial galactic battle, you'll have to choose your side. Fight alongside the troops of the Old Republic or with the malevolent armies of the Sith Empire. Each faction has eight opposing classes with its own unique storyline that fits the game's overarching narrative. Pave your path towards darkness or light by forming bonds, exploring the lands, and completing missions. Ready your lightsabers and blasters, and may the Force be with you. It has a play score of 7.87. Number 10 is Warframe. Ancient warriors awake from their sleep and find themselves in the brink of the Grineer's galactic invasion. Equipped with advanced biomechanical suits, the Tenno bring their Warframes to battle eliminating the alien lifeforms one planet at a time. But rescuing the solar system is not a task done alone. Work towards the common goal with your trio of cosmic ninjas and take down hundreds of enemies in every location. Despite being free to play, it delivers a complete experience with its responsive shooting and satisfying kills. It has a play score of 7.96. Number 9 is Heroes of the Storm. Although MOBA arguably built its foundations under the Warcraft title, it wasn't until recently that Blizzard entered into the battle arena sphere. Reuniting the characters across all their games, they face each other in an epic brawl. Watch Jaina Proudmoore cast spells side by side with the Warlock Gul'dan as they battle it out with Tracer and the demon Diablo himself. They bring their personalities with them as well as some elements from the games they represent. It's a chaotic superstar match of skill and reflexes and it has a play score of 8.09. Great is Atlas Reactor. While turn-based games are fun, they do tend to be a little slow. This game puts all that behind, putting a fast-paced twist on tactical combat. Form your team of four Atlas freelancers and prepare for a battle of brains and brawn. Lay down your strategies in decision mode and watch them play out simultaneously in an explosive resolution mode. It's a psychological arena that requires you to think ahead. Figure out your opponent's moves, react accordingly, and hope you don't miss. It's the multiplayer XCOM you've been waiting for, and it has a play score of 8.16. Number 8 
Number seven is Smite. In this universe, every day is Sunday, and all the deities are coming to play. Gathering in one massive arena, they fight for the honor of being gods among gods. With a numerous roster of celestial powerhouses, you either lose your religion or end up worshipping all of them. Despite the controversy, Hi-Rez Studios continues to add more to their list of diverse characters. From the beastly Egyptian gods to the humble icons of Eastern philosophies, enter the Greek-themed battlefield and make sure you don't end up being a sacrifice. It has a play score of 8.16. Number 6 is Path of Exile. While it borrows heavily from the Diablo series, the game captures the atmosphere of old action RPGs and upgrades it with a host of new features. It boasts in-depth character customization and unique level progression. Dive into dark dungeons, slay ferocious beasts, and collect gems to improve your abilities. It also has a comprehensive passive skill tree that will let you further personalize your Path of Exile. It has a play score of 8.17. Number 5 is Lord of the Rings Online. Step inside a worthy incarnation of J.R. Tolkien's Middle-earth. Set in the Lord of the Rings timeline, Sauron continues his quest for domination, setting out the nine Nazguls in search for the One Ring. Become part of the crusade against the Dark Lord as one of five races, and tag along with Aragorn, Legolas, and the rest of Tolkien's heroes. You may carve your path across the vast kingdoms, battle with the beasts that roam the lands, but you must never forget Second Breakfast. It has a play score of 8.17. Number 4 is The Lab. A charming VR experience set in the Aperture Science Laboratories. Travel from pocket universe to pocket universe and interact with its various virtual environments. Explore 8 minigames that range from the epic to the bizarre. Defend castles with your archery skills, visit exotic locales, repair robots and destroy things with a giant slingshot. It's not exactly loaded with content, but it does offer a fun introduction into the world of virtual reality. It has a play score of 8.31. Number 3 is The Lion Song, Episode 1, Silence. The first episode in a captivating point-and-click adventure, set in the early 1900s, follow the story of Wilma, a talented composer faced with an upcoming concert. She seeks refuge in the mountains to overcome her writer's block and complete her magnum opus. Click on various objects to spur moments of inspiration and complete her melody. It makes use of pixel visuals that, while limited, takes nothing away from its detailed and beautiful landscapes. It has a play score of 8.38. Number 2 is Dota 2. Making its humble beginnings as a Warcraft mod, it was a game that single-handedly started the MOBA genre. With one of the pioneering designers at the helm, Valve created a sequel with overhauled graphics, improved UI, and remodeled heroes. Despite its vibrant looks, it boasts one of the steepest learning curves. With hundreds of heroes and deep mechanics, there's a lot of things you won't learn on your first days, weeks, and even years. But get over that hurdle and it easily becomes one of the most rewarding games out there. It has a play score of 8.47. And the best free PC game is Team Fortress 2. It's time to take out the big guns in Valve's frantic first-person shooter. Veering away from the realism of their other FPS titles, TF2 showcases its cartoon-style visuals, cheeky animations, and even cheekier cast of characters. While it doesn't take itself too seriously, it's still a highly competitive game. Capture flags, deliver payloads, and control maps with 9 destructive classes that have unique playstyles. Automate, detonate, and dominate. A shooting game has never been this sarcastic. That's why it's the best free PC title with a play score of 8.61.